All right, y'all. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk a little bit about bowling balls. We're not going to talk a lot about bowling balls, but we're going to talk about the bowling balls that Cody's going to choose to use tomorrow because he wants to enlighten y'all on how good his arsenal is because it's amazing. It's amazing. His arsenal is amazing. Tell us. It's so dark in here. I should have brought the light in here, but we're not. So you're going to have to like pull a ball out and then like be like, hey, this is this ball and this is what I'm going to use it for. But what are we even bowling on? We're bowling on 43 We're feet. We're bowling on, I'll give them the exact pattern. Give me three seconds. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Email, email. We are bowling on. Don't show me that. Oh. Oh. Oh, sorry. I thought that was the other picture. We're bowling on Earl Anthony, 43 feet. 43 feet. Okay. Brunswick machine with connect oil. I don't know what that means, but. Viscosity of 33, so it's in between the other two Brunswick coils, which means that you get to use a little bit closer to what, like, the Kegel picture. You're good. Hey, it's speaking oh, of good, the guy that oh, runs Eric, the lanes. Eric can be in any video we do. <laughs> That's he's our a, lane man, Eric. He's great. He's running the lanes. He's the, the one, he's the one we yell at. <laughs> when I don't you, strike enough, it's his don't. fault. If I don't strike, it's his fault. That's no, I don't, That's I don't yell at him because yeah. I've yet to make it out of a PTQ, so... Well, that's his fault. Oh, you're, I guess, you're not doing it. Right. Damn it. See, here I am blaming myself. I could be blaming somebody else. Yeah, exactly. Son of a gun. You're, it's clearly you are the issue. Oh. <laughs> there we go. There, now I can use the light. What do we got? All right, so we're getting Slow a couple bag. bags together. Yep, so we've got Magic Gem, Reality, and that's a pin down absolute power. Salute. The salute power. Yep. And then we're going to do another bag here with this bag this bag already looks pretty good so we're gonna definitely take this bag out this is harsh reality eternity pie and exponent um these four balls between the eternity the magic gem the reality and this harsh reality there's differences but i can use them so it's just going to be kind of whatever matches up tomorrow we don't get a practice session so just going to kind of be able to play it by ear and see what the the lane tells me and then i'm going to do a bag of some stuff after that need this guy this guy's pretty good but so what are you trying to accomplish when you're setting up and figuring out which bowling balls that you want to take out what are you trying to accomplish so i'm looking at building myself options where i'm going to have some balls that are in the same range but are trying to give me different levels of either slowness or quickness where if i have a ball that you know Maybe this magic gem tomorrow is a little bit too much friction, but I still want something as slow as that. So I'm going to use the harsh reality instead. Or maybe those both are too much friction, but I still feel like I need something on the slower side so I can use this regular reality then because that's a little bit weaker. And then next step down from that would be that. So some of these bowling balls, like these big ASIMs, they can be eliminated in the first five minutes of practice um, and they might not be in play. It's a higher friction center. We don't really know until we start tomorrow. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to build some a bag where I have some options after that, which is going to be kind of my ASIM pearls or, you know, medium response ASIMs. So that's where like this attention starts going to get a little bit of surface, this clone and this tour dynamics, along with this absolute power we're going to kind of fall. So there's a good one. Explain to the folks, the people, sure. the lovely fans of the YouTubes, explain the YouTubes. to them. Uh, Got a phone call. Explain to them why you would choose an ASIM over a symmetrical ball. Okay. So a lot of times the ASIM cores are going to be a little bit bigger cores. Um, they're going to tend to get started a little bit sooner. So when we're bowling on these patterns out here that are two to one or, or you know, barely even three to one, um, I'm going to look for balls that are going to manage the front part of the lane and manage the friction in the front a little bit better. So. I, that bigger core allows the ball to slow down and be more controllable down lane. What do you mean so, by slow down for the people who don't know? What that means is the ball's going to get started sooner on the lane. So instead of my ball trying, if I tried to throw uh, this exponent, okay, that's a symmetric. If I tried to throw this exponent game one, that ball might not start hooking until 35, 40 feet down the lane. And that's, that's no good. We can't do that. Like, but we're why not? Because that's what, then, the, that's what everybody wants in league. They I know, want the right? ball we to get to the back of the go pattern down lane and, and go, go crazy. Go left, right? Yeah, no, I can't control that. That's not controllable, especially right. when the lane is really flat. 
So then I won't have a lot of misroom and it's gonna be a lot harder for me to strike consistently. For so, those of you that don't know about any of these words that he's using, if you're confused, go to tenpindoctors.com. We have a dictionary that actually shows you and tells you what all these terms mean. So if you're confused, head over to tenpindoctors.com and that'll actually give you a little clarity on some of the words we use. Yeah, absolutely. So he says absolutely as he picks up an absolute power. That's no, funny no right there. That's funny. <laughs> no pun intended. So yeah, I'm kind of just trying to build that. Um, a lot of times I have some symmetric pearls like this exponent pearl I just sat down that I'm not even gonna get to. Right. You know, we, we ball seven games, there's a decent chance that I don't even need something like that in my bag tomorrow. So like I said, these bags of these big ASIMs, there's a good chance that three out of these four are eliminated halfway through practice and that bag comes back in here. So. All right, pick nine balls. Give me nine balls. What nine, nine balls. balls would you take right. out? Well, I always do eight. Nope, we're doing nine since you got we're a bunch of three-ball rollers. You're difficult. <laughs> Jair's always oh, good. we got a question. Yes, yeah, sir. I got a question from the field. Okay. Uh, that just, uh, you want to introduce yourself? My name introduce is Eric. yourself. Eric Pearson. Lane Eric Pearson, Man. Lane Man. PBA. When you say hook start up, I would say that you're looking, that's when your ball starts flaring. Because that's when it's going to start to slow down. We're going to get into a term that I don't use on the YouTube channel. As opposed to people at <laughs> home that when they say hook, they're meaning the back end motion. They're meaning motion. So after it leaves, what a lot of people don't understand is your ball can actually start hooking without changing direction left or right. Which I know. It it's, is. it's crazy. Confusion. Right? Like that's that's, that's mind-blowing. But like your ball can be traveling to the right and be hooking. What we talk about, uh, and I'll give credit to Rick Benoit with Bowl U, we talk about something called procession. I'm not getting into that right now. That is a whole spiel. <laughs> now, you want to learn about that, look up Rick stuff. There's a website. Um, but basically, we want the ball to start losing rotation because that's when it started to see friction and started to slow down. So that's when we really start to see it hook. That doesn't mean that it's like going left. It just means that the ball has started to slow down, has seen friction, and can now manage that friction. And when we need that out on tour, we need it to be early. That's why a lot of the guys choose to throw urethane, because it hooks the earliest and it manages that friction very well. So that's what we're trying to do when we, when we manage that. We're not just looking for balls that hook a ton left or right. Tomorrow on 43 feet, there's a good chance. I don't want to see my ball go right to left very much at all, because I probably won't be getting my ball that far from the head pin. So. I'm gonna look for balls that are slower, more forward, and that's where these big ASIMs or medium ASIMs like this one are gonna come into play. Yeah, so that helps a lot of the the lower rev rate guys. A lot of these big ASIM bowling balls were designed for those lower rev rate guys who needed the help. So they created these cores that actually start to tumble a little bit more, a little bit quicker on the lane to help these guys who don't have the rev rate to be able to create more power, more hook, more curve, whatever word you wanna use for it. So when Eric asked about flare, that just means that the core is actually starting to change direction. That's why you can say that the ball starts to hook, but it's not actually changing direction. The core is actually just trying to get to more of a stable point. It's trying to get to its axis. And that's a key word. He just used a really key word that we look for um, on the competitive side of bowling, and that's stable, right? Like everyone talks about you want to be forward. You want to, ro your roll needs to be forward. Well, the reason it needs to be forward is because that's already closer to being stable than if your roll is really around it or really sideways. That doesn't mean that we don't do other things at times on tour and be able to do those things, but we're always looking for that stability. So when we're bowling on stuff like this, where your thing probably isn't going to look very great and I really don't want to throw it, I'm going to need to pick other options that are closer to that stable kind of motion that I need. So that's where the big asymptotes. We don't get into a lot of numbers on here, but like when you're looking at the asymmetrics, that intermediate diff, the bigger we get, that's a bigger core. So that's a lot of the time what we're looking for. So that's what these bags are going to be. And that's probably what's going to go down the lane a lot tomorrow. So. All right. Nine balls. Nine balls. They? Nine balls. So we've got, um, I'm going to take this one. All right, nine balls. Magic gem, harsh reality, reality, eternity pie, regular eternity, absolute power, attention star, clone, or sorry, attention star, tour dynamics, exponent, I think one, two, three, 
Could have, could have put them in bags for us and pulled them out. Jeez. So we can see them rather than just name them off. Magic gem. Magic gem. Harsh reality. Harsh reality. There she is. Eternity pie. Eternity pie. Nice. Three, four. So now, okay, so why are we going to use a reality and a harsh reality? What's the difference for you? They're not the same ball. I understand. Why are they not the same ball? Because, well, one, the same core. Different colors. Right? They're the same core, right? Color Shouldn't it do the same it? thing? No, not even close. Oh. Not even close. That regular reality is much cleaner, definitely more down lane than this harsh reality. Okay. So definitely different. All right, so we got two different bowling balls, even though yep. they're kind of technically the same almost. Yep. So we've got, yep, harsh reality, magic gem, eternity pie, reality, absolute power. And regular eternity, and then our last three are going to be tour dynamics, exponent, and the lovely new attention star. Perfect. Wonderful. All name. right, sweet. So. All right, and for me, I've only got 12 balls in here, so I'm going to show you my 12 ball lineup um, because they're all going to go in with me. I'm not taking just nine. I'm taking 12. So. Screw him, he can take nine and I could make him tell you nine balls. I'm actually gonna show you 12. So here we go. Finally. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go with we got something like this attention star. Same thing as what he's got. Uh, this is one he does not have. This is the DNA coil. I actually see a real big similarity between this and this. These are very similar, uh, even though this has got the bigger core, I think. I'm pretty sure it does. This one tumbles a little bit more, but cleanliness, they're really, really close. And then if I need a symmetric version, we have this guy. So we've got a couple of different ASIM pearls and then a symmetrical pearl here. Now, if I want my slow bowling balls, which is what you talked about, we have the beach ball. The motive beach ball a big uh big symmetric solid here or i'm sorry this is an asymmetric solid asymmetric solid asymmetric hybrid asymmetric solid uh, those cover my big slow balls i've got a couple other slow ones in there i believe but then if i want another super clean quick uh, down lane, sharper motion uh, with an ASIM core. I've got the virtual energy blackout. And then I haven't done the review on these two yet. This one hasn't gone down the lane yet. That's that Troublemaker Pearl. So I can't tell you too much about that yet, but I've seen some guys say it's pretty whippy and quick, but this one is a little bit stronger. To me, it sees the middle part of the lane a little bit better than something like this and something like these. It actually reads a little bit quicker. So when these are too clean, when this is too clean, if I still need that shinier type of bowling ball, even though it's a hybrid, this is the Emerge Hybrid, um, this will be uh, that ASIM ball, that's what that is, that ASIM ball that'll actually get me to start seeing the front just a little bit more. So, and then when we come over here into the big bag, we have um, a really slow tank, but I bring this, that's my spare ball for this week since we're bowling on uh, a longer pattern. And then I've got my my Pride Dynasty here, which is one of my favorite slower bowling balls. Really reads the middle part and the front part of the lane and gives me that slow, um, very predictable, stable ball motion. And then you got the new Idle Optimum. Um, another one that's, it's not slow like you would think like some of these other ones. This is actually that ball when I need a little bit more pop, but a similar type of shape that's gonna read the middle of the lane, that's what this is for. So if this becomes too slow, if my Magic Gem becomes too, I guess you would call it blendy, slow, rolly, whatever you want to call it, uh, I have this. And if this one, this is going to be a real similar to something like the Absolute Power, even though this is a symmetric version. So this one is going to be a little bit quicker, uh, more continuous. This Absolute Power gives me a little bit of quickness, but it's got the asymmetric core that helps me see the front just a little bit more, help me see the middle part of the lane. So those are the nine balls that I have. I'm sorry, the 12 balls. All right, so there we go. So that is the 12 balls that I'm using. The, the nine balls that I made him pick, I'm sure he's taking more there. We're at Mid-County Lanes here in Delaware. But as you can see, we've got a house full of people, all of the Pro-Am bowlers coming in, everything here. They got us set up really nice here. It's really cool. So we're in the, the paddock and everything. You can see that's why bowling balls are all over the place in here is we're in the arcade where all the bowling balls are. But this is the cool part. This is why when you're a professional bowler, this is what we like to see. These places take good care of us. We've got tables full of snacks, 
we got coolers full of water and Gatorade and everything else. So when we're bowling, we need to stay hydrated. We need to stack. That's where we're at. And I love these places. These places take such good care of us. We definitely appreciate these people for uh, hosting us and helping us to have places to where the professional events can go. So um, I love it. I think it's great. Yeah, so you can see tons of bowling balls over there too in the redemption area, which is pretty cool. So we're going to go eat. We're going to go grab some food. I'm going to get this all edited and thrown together for you. I know I'm going to show you some shots on top of, I think I have some shots from when he was practicing some of those bowling balls. I'll kind of throw them up on top of there. So uh, you probably have already seen them if you're at this point of the video. So we're out of here. We'll see you guys later.